Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Super League update. Um, finally got hit with a new patch. I'm going to be taking a look at everything that we got in the new patch. And originally I was going to make this video yesterday, right after the patch came out. Um, didn't, didn't actually have the time, but we're going to be here to take a look at it today. I thought it was going to be Heroes Festival, but I actually timed it wrong, so I was going to kind of do the two at the same time. But I guess today we can take a look at everything, um, review the new monsters, and then tomorrow we can do Heroes Fest. It is tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's tomorrow. Or the day after. Either way, it's soon. Um, I'll take a look at the new monsters first, and then we'll, we'll take a look at all the new quality of life changes. I heard that there was a... Well, I, I didn't hear, but... Um, I actually went in, to, in and took a look. There's a 10 times um, egg summon thing that you can click. So you don't have to, you no longer have to summon them one by one, which is uh, pretty awesome. And there's also temporary stores. So we'll prob probably be able to see that when I start summoning for Heroes Fest um, tomorrow. And um, basically it's like a storage where it stores your monsters. So you don't have to go and do reverse and everything, so I can actually just like summon all at once in one go. So I think that's actually pretty good. Um, so this is a new monster. This is this is Merlin. He is a um, yeah he, the the fire one's an attacker, and he's a morale booster with with Hunter on second skill. He's a fifty percent morale booster, and he has a really unique leader skill, which I actually I think is is uh like will bring a lot of variety to to the game it's a it's a leader skill that reduces enemies resistance which which means like like it's it's gonna change the it's gonna change the entire game so much like it's you know you know in pvp currently um it's basically always the same thing it's just a whole bunch of people stacking a bunch of aggressors. Like I myself am doing the same thing as well. I actually started really early. I just basically went with like Dark Cupid and a three Dark Mihos. That's what I um, originally started with, like a long, long time ago, back in the day when everyone was running uh, Wood Leo, Water Purse, and stuff like that. Um, I was basically just Cupid, three Dark Mihos. It was it was um, actually since the. Since the time they added skill books in from Mihos, I've been doing that, and it's like the meta has been the same. Like it's been it's been that in that exact same state, where it's just uh, HP lead or defense lead, and then you just get a whole bunch of um, aggressors or s monsters that have like morale boost and no um, or basically just any monsters without any debuffs. So if you look at this, it's like. Um, with the exception of a ver a very few that have shock, although those monsters aren't aren't exactly like top top tier either. So you just see monsters like um, you know like Dark Birdie and like this is an aggressor, this is a, a morale booster, this is Battle Rush, which is pretty much the same thing as morale boost, but it also heals. Um, aggressor, aggressor, morale booster, morale booster, aggressor, aggressor, <laughs> morale boost, aggressor, um, aggressor. I can't even remember what Light Verde does, but um, I think he she steals SP, which is pretty much the same as Morale Boost, kind of. Not 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 exactly the same, but the same concept. And then Aggressor, Aggressor, Morale Boost. Um, this one actually shocks. You see shock sometimes. And then Aggressor, Morale Boost plus Aggressor, or ba Battle Rush plus Aggressor. Um, just it's it's pretty much been the same, and I, I pretty much run the same thing as well. Um, I have like one monster that debuffs, but everything else is like an aggressor. So it's, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty much been at that state. And I think having something that counters resistance will actually change things up a bit. The reason why people run those monsters is because at at uh, like the highest tier of PvP, everyone just has like max resist on all their monsters and they just stack aggressors one on top of the other and it just, it's basically just become like that, and there's there's no way for the meta to change. And I think this this actually will bring some change to PvP, which makes me pretty pretty excited. Um, although getting getting a variant version of him will probably be very hard. Um, but yeah, having teams that can't counter everything is actually pretty good. So 
we'll have to probably have to build around. Like when, once this thing becomes more common, maybe in the future they'll release a four star version of this skill that's only only goes up to like 20%, which would still be very good. Um, but it can it can definitely bring change. Like once this becomes common, then then um, things will become really awesome. But if you want to be like one step ahead right now, Matt. I, I like can pretty much predict it. They're gonna have a variant gleam package like very soon. It's like get your get your variant Merlin now. Um, but anyways, he's he's actually a really good monster because he's he's really good for farming as well because he's got a 50% moral boost and hunter, so you can just basically um, get his bar full and then nuke pretty easily. I kind of want him. I actually really really want him. He's like he's like a better version of Fire Jin. If, if he has fast attack speed, then um, we can actually take a look at him later because they, they usually have them as the support monsters, so we can actually see them in game. This one is kind of similar. He's, a, he's got a team morale boost, 50% or 15%, and he's got elemental edge, which means he will be able to nuke um, all the elements pretty hard. So he's kind of the same as, as, uh, as him but less selfish. And he actually has better stats too. So if you take a look at his evil three stats, it's actually um, higher attack, um, lower defense, but it doesn't really ma matter that much because he's an attacker. And high HP, so you don't really need to stack this. I think he has higher effective HP if you don't, if you don't put anything on. Pretty sure the water one has higher effective HP. If you don't put, if you just build them like full nuker. Um, the wood one's a courageous striker. He's basically wood version of Dark Indra. <laughs> uh, double courageous strike doesn't really require anything. Just pretty good all around. Um, there's a lot of wood courageous strikers that were given to us through events and stuff like wood Pino and wood Thor. Um, a lot of people have those monsters. I think wood. Uh, can't remember. Yeah, Kano was a creative striker as well. Um, I think that was it. But a lot of people have Thor because Thor was um, for was rebirth twice. So most people have like multiple wood Thors. People out there are like pretty serious on on Titans. Might have multiple of them. So we're not really missing any wood creative strike. Although he would he would be pretty strong for um, a lot of the elements, even if you use him for like light dark and stuff, because he does have like creative strike on both skills, which is really strong. Yeah, and he's also balanced, so it's pretty pretty good stats for creative strikers. Um, the light the light one I think is currently un unattainable because the dark one is for fusion, so it, he's probably in the same boat as Dark Shiva basically in the game files, but doesn't actually exist. Um, maybe in the future they'll start adding all these monsters that exist, but some of them are extremely OP. Like, there's... There are some pretty... pretty crazy monsters here. Um, like, this one's Balanced, Double Creative Strike. Um, the Light Balrona. Actually, Light Balrona is not that OP. Um, Light El Artemis, double elemental edge. You know, like Light Poseidon, like 50% morale boost, elemental edge. Like, it's just... So, some of these monsters that are, like, Heroes um, Fest exclusives are actually really OP. Like Dark Barona with a, with a team morale boost and adrenaline and an HP pool this high. Like... <laughs> Or like Dark uh, Dark Siegfried. It's got like 3.8k defense. Double double defense aggression. It's actually pretty good that that uh, that some of these don't exist because they're they're super OP. Like this is this is not balanced. Um, nor is this really. But I think he's okay. I think Merlin's not that OP. 70% two turn shock, elemental edge. Um, basically, he's balanced type, so he's, and he has, he's actually pretty tanky, so he's actually pretty good for, uh, P 
PvP defense as well, but I don't think you can actually get them, so. The Dark One's pretty good. Dark One's SP, SP Siphon, um, and then he has a stun on his second skill. And then with his new leader skill now, um, debuffs are actually pretty good, so. Because if you think about it, if you can get like a max rank, or you, not even a max rank, even the lowest rank, 20%, um, they have max resist, it lowers it to 65, so you now have like a 35% chance. Like if you have a debuff that's that's 100%, you now have a 35% chance to, to land it. And if you... Yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. Like if you have monsters like who has some really high rate second skill? Um Yeah, Dark Arthur though. That would actually be pretty OP. Dark Valk. Well, isn't isn't Light Valk the one that shocks for for a hundred percent? It could last two turns. Oh no, last one turn. Dang, I wish I should have picked Valk. Well, Odin Odin had her uh, had her time in the spotlight, but I was at, I, I wasn't actually able to make an evil three. I think she's probably gonna. I think once this becomes common, a lot of the debuffs are going to be good again, which is really awesome. I think they're. I think. I think the game's definitely improving. Um, they're. They're. Making it more. Fun and stuff. So you're not always using the same monster. They're, they're probably going to fix the debuffs next. Like, there are some pretty bad debuffs in the game, like... Thirst. Thirst is... Thirst is alright. Like, Recovery Down? Re what is... What even is Recovery Down? Um... And, and what's the other one? Fatigue, yeah, Fatigue. Honestly, they could combine the, those three debuffs and it would still be balanced. Just have it have Thirst, Recovery Down, and Fatigue all in one, and it would still be pretty balanced. Yeah, so basically, um, this guy is going to be fusible. I just have like this, th there's so much stuff going in my head now, like I'm just thinking about all the possible ways that um, this would change the game right now for, for like Astromon League right now. Although, a lot of people don't PvP because it's not really worth it. Um, I still do it for the Astro Gems. But maybe they'll like also change the PvP rewards. So there's like more incentive for people to compete and stuff. Because currently right now it's just, if you're rank 1 you get a Holy Gleam. And that, that's about it. But if there's like a reward for like being top 100, being top 200, 300. Um, something unique that you can't get anywhere else. Because like Astro Gems you can still farm and stuff. Um, but if there's some sort of like some sort of reward that it gives you um, that you can't farm anywhere else then there might be more incentive for people to do it um, but yeah this is this is actually quite good he's got SP if you if you use this guy I mean this thing can't be resisted so it doesn't matter for resistance but then if you use this along with like some stuns and stuff you'll see like you'll start seeing like uh, monsters that CC a lot more in PvP now, I think. Once, once, uh, once um, that skill becomes more mainstream. But since that monster, since the Dark Merlin's for fusion, um, we'll take a look at his fusion chart. Oh yeah, I also forgot about this. This is uh, it's actually pretty funny. This uh, <laughs> this little April Fool's joke that they made, um, where all the NPCs turned into these. Three-year-old sketches. You know Tina? Tina actually looks better than she does before. This is actually how I imagine Tina to look. Like this is this is a hundred percent accurate. She's basically a monkey. 
Um, all right, let's take a look at the dark, dark Merlin fusion chart. So, um, with the dark Merlin coming out, we'll have access to the dark Nepha and the dark Mammoth, um, as well as. Did Dark Pimpin exist before? Oh yeah, Dark Pimpin existed. So we'll be able to have um, have access to these two monsters. They were in the game for quite a while, but there were no ways to actually obtain them. Um, from the looks of it, it doesn't look too hard to fuse. Basically, um, these all these over here are farmable. It's kind of the way it, it, it is. Wait a minute. I need wood yetis oh wait I can get cults I can fuse cults and just make all my make like a bunch of dark cults for titans that's actually pretty awesome man I, I still don't really build for titans um I was gonna take a look at what was I gonna take a look at Oh yeah, I was going to take a look at um, the Yetis are farmable. Alright, so it's the water one that's, that's not farmable. Oh wait, it uses the wood Yeti. Wait, where do we get wood Yeti? We only have water ones. Or not Yeti, um, Sasquatch. I thought all fusion monsters are supposed to be farmable. Maybe I'm just a monkey. Maybe he's he's actually farmable somewhere else. I mean, the Wendigo, not... Yeah, Wendigo is Sasquatch. Hey, never mind. It's, it's the same monster. Um, is he fusible here? No, he's not. It's, uh, that's actually pretty weird. But anyways, we'll we'll have access to these two monsters. Um, he doesn't look super hard to fuse. Like these are just random stuff that you can get anywhere. It just takes a lot of time. You know what I could do? I could just keep fusing dark Merlins over and over and over and over until I get one that's a variant, and then I can use his leader skill for PvP. Man, that's a lot of work, actually. That is that is a crazy, crazy amount of work. Um, but let's see if the Dark Nepha and Dark Mammoth, I, I don't remember what they do, but maybe they're usable as well. Um, Dark Mammoth is Adrenaline Vengeance, and he's an attacker. Alright, his skill set makes no sense at all. Um, probably not that good. I don't know why I would ever use him over, over like Misha or something. Double Vengeance, Defender stats, you know, tanky and stuff, low recovery. Um, as for the Nifa, pretty much just, I remember he does like a heal, yeah he does. So he's attack down and adrenaline, he's got a um, team adrenaline, can heal for 40% if he's hitting 4 targets. and. Yeah, Nifo's pretty cute as well. Man, I wish I could get the light one. I, I, like, since the first time I saw light Nifa, I've wanted to get one. The variant one as well. Like, this color looks so cool. It's double, double hunter as well. So, probably will be very useful. Um, doesn't have very high attack, but I think with double hunter, it'll still do a, a ton of damage. Um, I guess you can use him for debuffing for Titans, but it's actually very expensive. And probably will only use him if you missed a lot of events earlier. You don't have like Dark Coco or Dark, um, Dark Otari. Like this one has like an 80% for two turns. It's actually pretty strong. He's also single target and he has blind. Maybe they'll bring him back because I, I kept a lot of him for for Titans. I still have a lot of those in the in my uh, in my inventory. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much uh, all the other changes are just quality of life stuff. Um, the temporary storage for for Astromons, as well as the ability to um, summon ten in a row, or ten at once, not in a row. It's like a ten hash ten times button now for for the high eggs. Is there one for legendary? No, there isn't. There's one for light dark eggs as well. Now I wonder if I collect ten and hash ten at once if, if I'll get something good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's 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 it for the new monsters, um, the new update, and I think. Wait, is there another? I think there might be another monster for for rebirth next month, right? I must have missed it. I don't think there is. I think there's just Merlin. Or, or if there is, it's not released yet. Hmm, they might bring back an old monster for Reaver. That could be possible. But anyways, um, that is pretty much it. So, I'm, I'm actually quite excited. I really want to summon for Heroes Fest. But it's not Heroes Fest tomorrow. It's, it's the last um, clan festival. I'm still going to try it for a variant Snow White. But I think... Um, I think her leader skill might not be the best anymore. It could still counter a lot of dark teams, but dark teams are easier to counter. And this will actually counter the aggressor teams. So I think having this leader skill in both defense and offense, you might not need it for offense, but um, if you have it for defense, it would actually, it would actually, actually it's pretty good for offense as well. It's, it's, it's just good all around because resistance is really, really OP right now in MSL. Um, but anyways, I'll just uh, probably do some thinking, do some theory crafting very, very soon. I'm actually quite excited. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.